Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I'm going to talk about something that I really can't believe I haven't talked about <laughs> up till now because I've been using it like crazy, and it's Fluid. Fluid.app, as some people call it. You can reach their website at fluidapp.com to get more information. And their, their little slogan is your web browser, web browser for web browsing. Now, what Fluid is, it is a site specific browser for Mac OS X Leopard. And prior to Google Chrome's release, I talked about Google Chrome in a previous video, Google Chrome gives you the ability to create a specific application icon for a website. That's exactly what Fluid.app does, except it's been out a little bit longer than Google Chrome. And I've been using this on Mac, <coughs> excuse me, I've had been using this on Mac OS X for some time now, and uh, finally get to share it with you. Now, it's ideal for websites such as Gmail, Facebook, uh, Pandora. I have it set up for those. Um, also for social networks such as Twitter, Identica, Rejaw. And uh, I have some applications set up in my dock down here. I have one for the FriendFeed beta site and for Rejaw, for Google Reader, and for my Google Mail account. Now when you launch Fluid.app, let me go ahead and launch it. It's a very simple interface. I think I launched the wrong one. Eh. Okay. Fluid. There we go. It's a very specific interface. And uh, it has a new version, so I'm just going to remind me later. It asks you for a, uh, a URL and a name. And also where you want to place this application, because it's going to create a .app file or folder in your on your system and uh, what icon you want to use for it so let me think of something to use um, I guess I can set one up for Twitter even though I don't use Twitter I'll just go ahead and do it that's my URL Twitter and I'll say name is Twitter and I'll just use the defaults for location and icon I'll talk a little bit more about the icon a little bit later how you can change it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click create so what it's going to do is it's going to go to the site, get some information, and then it's going to go ahead and build that .app file, and then in a couple seconds it's going to let me know that it's finished doing what it needs to do. And and voila, <laughs> successfully. Created desktop application Twitter located at my path there in Twitter.app. Now I can reveal that app in Finder or I can launch it now. I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. So in my dock down here, I have this jagged Twitter icon now. And uh, it's uh, going to remind me to update. So now I have this dedicated window. There's no toolbar, there's no browser bar that's set up for Twitter. Now that's useful and everything, but uh, there are some other cool features of Fluid that I want to show you about. Say you want to have an application in your menu bar, which uh, goes to a website that you check periodically, say Twitter. I'm going to use Holo. Holo is a mobile website. I hope I haven't already done this. I think I did. Um, Holo is a mobile Twitter interface. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and create that, just like I did the other one, and it's a little bit faster now. And then I'm going to launch that application. Now it's going to launch Hollow. See, I got an icon down here in the bottom right, Hollow. And I'm going to remind me later about the and and it has a mobile interface here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the preferences, and uh, I'm going to first actually. They have it in the menu now. You can go to the hollow menu and you can say convert to a menu extra SSB. And what that's going to do is that it's going to convert this application to a menu icon on my menu here. So I can access that website from right there. It says menu extra SSBs appear as small items in the system wide status taskbar at the top of the screen next to the clock and spotlight. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'm gonna say remind me later and if you notice up here I have a H up here for hollow so now I'm gonna go ahead and log in here 
hope I can remember my password. It's been forever. I can log into my Twitter timeline, and you see it, it kind of fits the whole mobile interface. It has a small window that I can just come up here and check periodically and see who's doing what within Hollow. Isn't that cool? I thought it was cool. <laughs> so this this is a very cool application and uh, it allows you to do all of this and then some. It supports user scripts, meaning client-side JavaScript. You may be familiar with a very popular client-side JavaScript engine for Firefox called GreaseMonkey. Fluid.app supports some user-side scripting, but not all. Um, and I've just barely scratched the surface. And, and I mean, it, it, it includes tab browsing, built-in user scripting, like I said, URL pattern matching for browsing whitelists. Uh, it supports Sparkle, so the automatic update framework, and custom SSB icons in the JavaScript API. So let's talk about this icon here. I have this Twitter app that I created. You notice that icon is real ugly, and it doesn't look anything like these pretty icons I have for friend feed and read y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Flickr where there is a fluid icons pool and they have created several icons already for several applications and lo and behold there's a Twitter one. Uh, let's see if they have a better one than that. That one looks like a transparent kind of one. If I don't find one, okay, three clicks is enough. I'm going to go ahead and go with that one just so I can demonstrate it. So I'm going to go to this file. I'm going to go to all sizes and then I'm going to download it. I'll just drag and drop it to my desktop. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to go to this Twitter app here and then I'm going to go to the preferences <laughs> and then I'm going to go to I believe it's appearance. Could be wrong. I'm going to try appearance and nope it's not appearance let's try general 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 I didn't click it gosh gosh okay application icon you click change here and it tells you that a relaunch may be necessary so I'm gonna go to my uh, let's see desktop that's the file there and then I'm going to save it and lo and behold I didn't need to relaunch it I now have this coolish looking black Twitter icon so this is how you can customize fluid.app a little bit more and like I said I mean there's a lot more to it very useful stuff you can do keyboard shortcuts is another thing that's real cool with fluid you can set up your own custom keyboard shortcuts do a lot of scripting and more so I highly recommend you go check it out here someone set up a mobile dig um, probably use the mobile dig interface for menu extra and that uh, there's so much more you can do with fluid.app and again this is based on the Safari engine and it works on Mac OS 10 and it is a site specific browser for Mac OS 10 alright this is Buona for Buona.tv and I'm finally finally have talked about fluid.app I can't believe I've gone this long without talk about it, talking about it alright enjoy <laughs>